Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys all about my absolute favorite new accessory for honestly mom life in general, but especially for Disney. And my favorite new inline bag for Disney and that is this guy. It is the Petunia Pickle Bottom Sling Bag. So let's go ahead and get into it. Well, hey friends, my name is Karina. I'm a wife and a mama to two little ones and my family loves to visit the Disneyland parks in California. And I love to bring you guys along for the journey and share with you guys my favorite tips for traveling with little ones. So today I have a little bag that I wanna share with you guys. She is small, but she is mighty. And one of the things that I think is most important, especially when going to Disneyland, is being prepared. And that means having good diaper bag solution ready to go, packed up, easy to use, something that you love and that you're familiar with and comfortable with. And I also include an inline bag in my diaper bag setup. So not only do we have like the big diaper bag that has like the changes of clothes and extra snacks and all that good stuff, I also always carry an inline bag with me because what I found on our very first trip was that most people were using their diaper bags like inline. And I did not want to do that. So instead of having to carry a big bulky bag while you're standing in line and the line can get really long, I decided to carry an inline bag. And this is basically a small bag that has a condensed version of a lot of things that are in my diaper bag, but things that I can grab quickly, keep my kids entertained really quickly, and just kind of in the moment, but also small enough that I can kind of throw it off to the side to, you know, throw it around my back, whatever I need to do as I'm getting on a ride, put it around the front, take it off really quickly, like something manageable that I can deal with and manipulate in line and getting on rides. So introducing Petunia Pickle Bottom Sling Bag. Now I have been sleeping on this thing, I'm not gonna lie. So I have seen this recommended and shared by so many Disney mamas and I honestly was like, mm, however, I love this princess print. Now this is a print that they are actually retiring, but I have just been absolutely obsessed with it ever since I first saw it. It has rose gold hardware. It is just gorgeous, this little ballet pink color. And then all the princesses, well, most of the princesses, they need to update and add like Rapunzel and Moana and Pocahontas, but it has some good representation. So I have loved this print for the longest time. Finally decided to grab the sling bag when it went on sale over the holidays and I have been using it constantly ever since. And honestly, we actually have not been to the parks with me using this bag. I use it at home a ton, but it will go with us on our next trip because I am completely obsessed with it and I think it's perfect for an inline bag. So I'm gonna walk you guys through what I actually have in here just as a mom and what I use it for every day. And then I'm also gonna share with you guys some extra things that I would put in the bag and how I would set it up for using it at Disneyland in the lines. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so first things first, this bag has two main compartments. It has this smaller front zip pocket on the front and then this larger zip pocket on the back. They both have double zippers, which I love. It also has a ring on this side so you could clip on like keys or, um, like air tag or whatever, like a little um, hand sanitizer thing if you wanted to, whatever you need. And then on the back, it has a little slip pocket and it also has the functionality where you can change it based on whichever side you actually want to carry it on. So it has two different little hooks down here and you can make it interchangeable and sling it across your front or your back, however is most comfortable for you, which I think is a game changer. So let's talk about how, what I have packed up in this for just life at home. And in this front pocket, I have quite a bit. So I do have my card holder. This is by Mina Bay, but this is what I use for my wallet. I also have this guy, this thing of lotion right here. I've got tissues because runny noses. I've got a used tissue apparently. <laughs> I also have my key ring, so lots of keys on here, my big old keychain as well. I also have several lip products, so actually only two right now, but slimmed it down a little bit. I usually have at least three, and my inhaler. So that all fit very comfortably in the front pocket, and there was room to spare. This front pocket is actually insulated, so you could totally use this for snacks. If you had um, like cold snacks, like a little ice pack, totally works for that too. And then in the back pocket here, this guy does zip 
all the way down the side of the bag, which I love. And then it opens up really, really wide. I have an extra spoon. <laughs> this is real life from Costco because we got ice cream and my kids always seem to manage to drop a spoon. So I always grab extra. Also have my sunnies in here. I've got a thing of wipes. These are actually my current favorite wipes. They're nose and face wipes. So especially with like cold season, um, I've been using these a lot and really liking these. They're just really easy to use and small enough that I don't feel like I'm using a giant wipe. But a travel pack of wipes would definitely fit in there very well. All right, and then I also have a little snack baggie. This is running low. I need to restock. But I always keep some treats in here for my kids. Um, usually after school or a daycare pickup or something, they want just a little thing to kind of, you know, have a little treat at the end of the day. So I like to have that with us. I also do have some fruit strips, which my daughter loves. So she usually chooses between like Smarties or a fruit strip, but I like to have something like that on hand too. And then I have our Costco card and a receipt. So that's everything that was in the back there. And that was not even, I mean, absolutely not at all full, but look at the lining really quickly. So it's so cute. It's all the little like emblems from the different princesses. They're just, just little like, I don't know. Yeah, emblems. I think that's what you'd call it. So, so cute. Okay, so that's everything that I have in here for just mom life stuff. But let me show you guys how I would pack this up as an inline bag at Disneyland with my kiddos. All right, friends, I went ahead and packed her up for how I would use her at the parks. And the first thing I want to say is I actually have a lot of room in the top here. So it's nice and squishy up there. But Let's look at the first thing here on the side is my hand sanitizer in this little cute mini mouse holder. So that's the first thing. And then around the back, I went ahead and slipped in my portable charger because what I like to do is have my portable charger somewhere where I can hold my phone and use the portable charger like while it's attached to the phone. So I like to have them kind of really close together and really easy to grab and access rather than it being in a pocket that's like zipped away. So that's really handy. I could easily tuck my phone in here while it's connected to the charger as well. So I love that. And then going to the first pocket here, I did go ahead and use this again for mostly my stuff. So I have my sunglasses. I've again got some tissues, lotion. I've got my card holder again. I also have my inhaler, I always need that, and then my lip products. What's different that I added in here is a little bit of some kind of first aid stuff. So I just have some wet ones in case the kiddos get a boo-boo and I need to clean my hands really quickly. And then I also have a small baggie of Band-Aids and Neosporin. So I like to keep this with us just because, you know, as you're walking to a ride or getting a snack or going to meet a character, they might trip and fall over something. You you know, just stuff always happens. So it's nice to have this stuff on hand really quickly. And then if I need anything larger than this, like more significant than this, I can go to my first aid kit that's in the diaper bag. So that's everything that was in the front pocket. And then looking at the back pocket here, this is more the kiddos and like activities and things like that. So first thing I have is again, our snack pouch, which this is pretty, pretty comparable to what I would carry. And I usually have one of these and my husband will have one in his inline bag as well. And I also have uh -oh, <laughs> more snacks, so fruit strips still. And then I do have our little activity pouch. Now, again, I will have one of these and my husband will have one too. But what's in here is a couple little things of Play-Doh, some little figures, Minnie Mouse in this case. And then this mini play pack, which is like the tiniest little coloring book, a couple stickers, and these two little mini crayons. They're so small, but it's really nice when you just need a little something to keep them entertained while you're waiting in line for something. Okay, right, so the next thing I have is our potty kit, and my kids are potty trained. However, I like to have a potty kit with me at all times, especially at Disney. So in here, I have some toilet seat covers. I've got some flushable wipes. I've got some baggies just in case we have an accident and need to put undies or, you know, leggings or something in a little bag. I have that to tuck away. I've got a couple extra pairs of undies. Um, I've got some post-its in case we need to cover the little sensors on the potties because my daughter was really afraid of those at first when she was just potty training. 
So this is very helpful to have. And then I do also have just some diaper cream, just in case. I always find that um, if I'm going to get like chafed, it's gonna be at Disney because I'm walking around a lot and sweating. So nice to have that on hand. And then I also do have those nose and face wipes in the back. And I also wanted to show you guys that a full size play pack that you can get at Target or Walmart does fit in there with plenty of room to spare. So that would be no problem if you want to get the larger play packs that have the full coloring book and like four crayons and like a larger thing of stickers and you want something to keep your kids entertained longer than just the little ones, this is a really great solution too. And then I also want to share with you guys a couple other things that will definitely fit. This is a 16 ounce water bottle that we just have on hand and I do like to bring a water bottle in line but then when you get up to the ride you need to put it away so it's nice to know that that will totally fit in here i would have to make some adjustments um, as far as what else i carried but let me show you guys what i could carry with that okay so i put all of my other things right in the front the same stuff that i have in the front originally and then we've got the water bottle i would do the potty kit back here that totally fits and then the wipes we definitely need. I would do maybe the big play pack and then probably just a few, like a couple little treats. You could totally stick like the little bag of treats on the top probably. Get in there keychain. There you go. Okay so yeah all of that definitely fits with the water bottle in there. The only thing I didn't put in is this smaller kind of activity kit with like a varied, you know, couple of things in there, but I do have the bigger play pack in there and you could totally tuck a couple of little figures in there too, or like a thing of Play-Doh if you wanted to, just depends on what you really want to have in there. But it's nice to know that the water bottle totally fits with no problem and even a little extra room to spare still. And I have the portable charger on the back as well still. All right guys, so that is a little overview of the Petunia Pickle Bottom sling bag, what I would fit in here and how I would use it at Disney and how I use it in my everyday life. I will tell you guys, I've become so obsessed with this bag. It is like the perfect little grab and go size, especially as a mom to toddlers. I even think you could fit some diapering needs in here if you needed that as well. And one other thing that I do wanna say is that I will often leave this packed up with my stuff in it and I'll just throw it into a bigger diaper bag when we're going out. So it still has all of my things in it, potty kit, all that good stuff, but I have all of my kids stuff like extra snacks and activities and changes of clothes and all that good stuff in the big bag. And then I just put this on top. So I have everything I need in a pinch. So I absolutely love it. Highly recommend. And I definitely suggest you check it out. They have tons of prints and colors and designs, all kinds of stuff. Perfect for everyone's taste. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.